20 miles, we head into Fort Lauderdale and our little trip is done and we're gonna reassess and hopefully have a game plan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. All exciting. Yeah. This cat could be ours. Yeah, well, you know, we've been talking and there's a potential where we might buy this catamaran, so uh, John went to talk to some people and um, there's some advisors and stuff like that and we're going to see what kind of deal we can make, so we'll see. Well, John should be coming back tomorrow, no, no the next day, and then we'll sit to have sit down before we fly back out. We'll see what happens. If it works out, I'm going to run around the boat naked. You already do. Also. I know. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I'm going to jump in the water naked. Uh, that's a good one. There, that's a good one. In the Bahamas, where I can see the bottom. That was the end of our little trip. We got Clipso back to John and made our way to California, this time with a new plan. The plan was to purchase Calypso. <laughs> We're back in California. During the time the deal is getting worked out as far as purchasing Calypso, we've decided to get scuba certified. The new boat has a compressor on board. We plan on using it. Um, Did you get it right? No. Yeah, we had no idea how involved this would be. Better get serious. There it is. 100%. Oh, shoot. Boom. 100% pass. Never thought I'd be taking gonna... a class with uh, my good looking husband over there. <laughs> Look at that. We just went through and we did our little class for, uh, I don't even know what that was. Why divers dive with an enriched air online. Basically the beginning the class, yeah. Patty, Patty. So we got our little diver's log. Uh, Jeremiah signed us up for the class that you can do, all, it, it educates you to do it all over the world, correct? You can dive Well, it's anywhere. for uh, diving with enriched air. Yeah. So we're gonna be able to do not just air, but enriched air also. So we just did the class. So this is the first step really for the whole process. We're about to go to a classroom environment and then we're going to, uh, to a pool and then we do two open water dives for our dive certification. Yes, lots of fun. We got just a couple things of gear. If we love it, then obviously we're gonna get more. Oh, Very excited. More. I'm happy you're here because the whole time I'm just thinking about how I don't want to do this because I'm terrified of the water. It's gonna be fine. So if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't have passed. Yep. <laughs> On the way to the dive class, actually the pool, the community pool. <laughs> It all has to begin somewhere, and it began with him. <laughs> and now we're starting off with Tano because I pulled my shoulder, and I'm about to put on all this gear, and I can barely put the shirt over my head, so this will be great. No, super excited. Um, we finally got the class portion over with, for the most part, and we're headed to the pool. It's like 100 degrees out, so that'll be a lot of fun putting on our gear. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hop in the water and learn some stuff before next weekend when we get to go into the Pacific Ocean twice. So once on Saturday, once on Sunday, and then hopefully we'll be certified. Yeah, man. How you feeling over there? All right, good. Good, good. It's hot out. It's like 110 degrees out here. It's really hot out. So it should be nice getting in a pool. <laughs> yeah. Too bad we have to wear a wetsuit. Yes. Boo on the wetsuit. Um, the Bahamas and stuff, we won't have to wear one, but here it's obviously cold. Learning a lot, like uh, different millimeters for different water temperatures. And of course here it's seven millimeter for the Pacific, so it's... Oh, it's fine. Our thing is seven millimeters. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. thick. Very thick and hard to get on in and out, but um, 
all is good looking forward to it I have a massive fear not of diving of the water what's in the water so I'm hoping that this helps me with my fear and I'm just gonna try to do my best to get through it I've had this fear my whole life so hopefully this helps Like this. There you go. Cool. We got in the pool and completed the first day. It was more fun than I thought it'd be, but we had a few issues. First, the Rena gear was difficult to use, and we didn't like how the group classes moved so quickly. So we decided to get some of our own gear and sign up for private classes. I don't know how I got myself into it, but here we go. We are scuba diving. We've always wanted to explore the underworld that we float on, so we're gonna do it. Finally, I think it's two or three years, three years later, we're actually doing it. We started with group classes, and I've actually written a couple blog posts on that. We have now switched to private classes. The reason why we switched was our gear. So now we have all this gear and we aren't even certified. <laughs> but we're getting certified over the next three days. That's when our private classes start. I have done between like 12 and 16 hours of online schooling for it, so I actually know what everything is. Are you ready for this? I'm pretty stoked myself. My BCD. This thing's awesome. The reason that we picked this is because of a really cool fe feature that it has. You can take the weight pockets off, put a belt on, which will make it easier to use different weights, whether you're in cold or warm water. I'm sure I will learn many more features of it that I love later on. My thins, thin socks. If you've ever tried to put a wetsuit on, um, these really help because you're literally peeling like yourself into it. It's crazy. Mask and your snorkel. So I tried to go black and white as you can see. This is my regulator. First stage, second stage. I know, you're impressed, I'm impressed too. <laughs> this is the piece that signals my dive computer. This is the M2 by Scuba Pro. I have watched every single YouTube um, video on it to learn how to use it. It's crazy. It's like a whole new world inside there. But it hooks up to a heart rate monitor and we work out a lot, so that was a really cool feature with that. Our gloves, booties, and then Jeremiah has all the same stuff except for he got his wetsuit because he went into extreme panic mode when he had to put on the seven mil. So they told him if he bought his own, they upsold him I think, uh, he could wear a three mil in the pool and diving. Me, I'm just gonna tough it out and deal with the panic attacks. <laughs> Joking, it's been a lot of fun. Um, we've gotten a lot of training because we did start with group classes and now we switched to private. So the more I do, the more comfortable I am with it. If you've been following for a while, it's my number one fear and hopefully I conquer it. Everything can you? <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be done. We've completed all the steps for the pool classes. We wanted to get in and just play around a bit feel it out and get as much underwater time as we can before heading to the Pacific. I'm still getting the hang of setting up my gear, but practice makes perfect.
coming up on Season 5 of The Lazy Geckos. Your certified scuba diver. Eighty-something degrees out right now. Bert, your thoughts on your first dive, what are they? Well... And make sure to hang out until the end of this video for an awesome Season 5 preview. You have Instagram? Why not follow us? You can get all sorts of real-time news, photos, and more. Check us out at Lazy Gecko Sailing. Our episodes are fueled by our patrons. See even more fun on our Vimeo channel. Be taking over Calypso, which is pretty freaking crazy. Oh, look at that! So, oh, boom! Oh, Look-y! Yeah, you've been. Yes, you did. You're a goofball. Here's John. So it's finally coming together. So you can pull tight. It's an elastic around here, and you can pull tight. Now on Reese's bedding. We got all of our paperwork. <laughs> Simple fix, and you were worried. We got a sweet weather window. I think we're looking at 10 to 15, uh, seas 2 to 3, and the winds are going to come from the south. That's it. Woo. And we're ocean bound now. We're offshore. Yeah. I think we're probably, what, four miles maybe offshore? How do you feel? Raising the flag, baby. Could be larger than life.